of my jeans are torn Sweat coming through my shirt Keep pushing even though it hurts I'm chasing what I know is true There's nothing that I would not do And everyone around me drops I'm never gonna ever stop I won't waste another minute, no I won't I'm a man on a mission I'm ready whenever you are. Hit him again. Yeah, you're good. Right, hey, let's go. But he's bleeding up the nose. Oh, dang. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's over 40. Yeah, he's not bad. Oh, he's, he's not bad. No, no, when he turned his head, I was like, geez, that thing looks better than I thought. Oh, believe me, when I watched for a while, I'm like, Jeez, if he's yes. not coming, we should kill it with a rifle. Well, he had you guys dead to rights. So that's Dude. why he wouldn't, yeah, he yeah. wasn't saying nothing to me. He was staring at you guys out there, busting. What a big animal. Hey, how you like that, buddy? Holy cow, oh, check shit. it out. Oh, wow. Look at that. Probably 44, 45 inches of that. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. not bad. For first uh, moose, buddy, that's a hog, man. Man, it's been a few days. First moose I've seen. Well, believe me, when I'm sitting there looking at it, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm like, when he, you said 35, I'm like, he, I think he's over. See, I couldn't even see those brow yeah, points on yeah. him. When I was watching, I was like, he's over 40. We yeah. should probably kill this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, and actually, when you got in close, I was thinking, you know, and then he turned his head. I was like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, oh. they better shoot him. And I saw him take prone. I was like, right on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as the sun was coming up, I was like, he's getting bigger. 
well, like you could start I was just, to see it. When, when I, when, did you see me when I slid the pack out? That was the last time I looked, and I was like, I think he's over 40. Well, but I, was, <laughs> but I had a lot I mean, better time I to look at him. I was, like, as soon as he turned his head and I saw those points sticking out, I was like, yeah. How far was he? 160 oh, okay. something. See, I, didn't, I thought you guys were around 100. I saw it hit, and I'm like... That killed it. it did oh, not when I saw far. the front it, leg buckle, he was I was like, like, oh, he's down. Yeah, he was rocking. Yeah, he didn't make it work. He was just over there. Oh, so like 50 yeah. yards, maybe? Yeah. Not even that. Uh, yeah. His tracks are right there. Yeah, no. Okay. no, these Hornady soft point sages. You couldn't design this better. The four wheelers can go right here. <laughs> Believe me, and that was going on in my mind. I'm hey, like, okay. What were we saying something about nothing easy about a moose? Well, this is as easy as they come around here. I'm not, not. Literally, when he was in the prone, I was like, I know you may. Nothing. <laughs> and I was thinking, and then I was nervous. like, <laughs> and then I'm thinking, I got to tell him something. And finally, I'm like, don't f this up. Because I, I was like, that's bigger than I originally well, thought. <laughs> yeah, literally, I was sitting there contemplating, do I? No, I'm not going to tell him. And then I thought about it again. I'm like, you... no, no, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> hey, what do you think he is? Was I. I'm thinking I, I like 42, 40, 44, but yeah, I think I he's probably it. pushing 45. I underjudge him a bit. Yeah, well, because you got to remember you're out to here, right? Yeah. Those you know, brow tines are wicked. Well, when he yeah, turns, he his, might be he might be in the low 40s. He's but, good either way. Yeah, he's around here. That's a shooter bull. Believe, I don't. If the guy passed this up here, I I I go home. That'd be the end of the. Believe me, when we were laying there and I kept looking at it, I'm like, we need. I think even though I'm cussing, I'm like. We should, what did I say? We should probably drop this. That's a good bull. I was like, <laughs> oh, we were locked yeah. in, dude. No, and, and that's what I was thinking. You know what? Unless I can get him coming in, you guys are done. And it, he just kept staring at you guys. As much well, we, noise as I could make, he was staring at you guys. We waited a while. We were like, well, let's see if he comes. He got the decoy up. We were like, see if he comes. And he, he just wouldn't come any closer. No. He, he, he saw you guys move in on him Yeah. right at the start there. And that yeah. was it. Yeah, man, this is good because it's yeah, right it's, by the yeah. road. Yeah, we'll, this we'll is about the easiest uh, yeah. full quarters. We'll just yeah. leave the hair this on awesome. and freaking. Man, I can't get over how big this thing is. My first moose. That was pretty cool. This is our fourth day hunting. It's the first moose I've actually laid my eyes on. We heard him two days ago. We came in here and. Uh, snuck up on him and he was down here in the willows in the brush just raking and grunting but he's a lot bigger than we thought when we first saw him on the road this morning but man i can't be happier it's a lot of meat a lot of meat and for, for my first moose i'm pretty pretty jacked but i really wanted to come back here because that dude had been hanging out right here in this field and there's so much sign back here and then he was all amped up so when we called yesterday or day before yesterday when we called the day before yesterday he was just grunting and raking and there's some kind of swamp down here and he was just making just going crazy with it so um i was like let's go back man there was a lot of hot activity back here and you could hear a cow back here screaming but we pretty much like came in here uh three miles or so we barely the sun was just coming up we stopped and we started to call for the first time today and uh immediately he called right back and i was like whoa we walked around the corner another 40 yards maybe and there he was at 160 yards just standing in the road and he saw us before we saw him so there's not a lot we could do about it we kind of sat there hoping he'd come in so we to bow range but he didn't, and we made this decision earlier in the trip. Um, uh, we have two moose tags and just a few days to get two moose. So if uh, if it so happens that we can't get a, a shot with a bow, um, we're going to take one with a rifle and, uh, you know, get the meat out and, and this whole adventure. And uh, it's nice. It's nice just to put one on the ground and and have all this meat. It's been intense got charged by a grizzly the other day so it's 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 been a wild trip but it's kind of a load off now we got an like about six days to try to get Aaron one with the bow and there's no pressure now um we really wanted some moose meat so 
we've got this one takes the pressure off we'll split the meat on this one if if Aaron doesn't get his own um, and uh, in the meantime the rest of it can just be fun for fun we can just like really focus on uh, the experience and so pretty awesome It's all pussy. Now we uh, we were quartering it out one time, and we went to debone the back leg. So is that from a puncture from a fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll heal up. That's enough. So what were you doing? We went to debone the back leg, uh -huh. and uh, when he cut down to the bone, we got about uh, half a gallon of that stuff came just blowing out. Uh. It was nasty. No, no, we'll do belly on this. Okay, the back quarter. I don't even think we'll. We'll take that hydrate right off with that quarter. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. Protects it anyway. Yep. It. That's a pretty good stab wound. Oh yeah, man. He almost looks like he might have got beat up. So there's a bigger one in here somewhere. We'll come kill him tonight. Yeah, tomorrow. That is just pussy. We'll have morning hunt, I think, is going to be the hunt in here. Yeah. We'll have time. Get all taken care of and not even have a rough if, day. If you guys got a big freeze, are you going to process or you're just going to debone and freeze? I'm going to freeze. freeze, yeah, because I want to... I do this at home myself, you know. Um, the nice thing about moose is you get steaks off a lot of the cuts, you don't get steaks from anything else. Because like even these tubes that run down the neck yeah. are that freaking big around on each side. So you can literally cut a steak out of each one of them. I like the sounds of that. Oh man, they're, moose are some of the best eating animal going. And this guy's nice and young, so we'll be eating moose tonight. You come up this leg already, Aaron? Just out to the knee. Oh God! Oh, Look yeah. out! Oh, I was kind of wondering about that. Wow. I was gonna cut around it, but I didn't quite make it. No, no, just clean it off. Well, that's crazy. Yeah. Got lots of wet wipes. How much of that pus is in there? Yeah, there was. I know that other one we did. There was lots because it gets underneath the muscle. Yeah, that that idea of doing this didn't work with it. Yeah. No, there's... Oh, jeez. I guess they just bounce back from that stuff. Yeah, right. So he would have survived no problem. He's a good fat animal. Oh, that smells like pedussy. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for that, Aaron. <laughs> it's like, oh, jeez. Oh, I'm going to lose my <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Although I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, you come down to this side where the owner's hit me. <laughs> There's another one here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, buddy. I need a gas mask. Oh, geez. Darren, thanks, man. Yeah, I don't... There was no blood. Obviously, it didn't come out. I don't see how it could have where he hit it. No. He just exploded his inside. Is what it probably did. Ah, that's... <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> that's pretty right, man. <laughs> 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 You know what? I got some cups in there. You want to go get some of that swamp water and we'll clean that up a bit. <laughs> I got a strong ass stomach too. I know. I do too. But <laughs> Dang. Jeez. That smells like death. <laughs> Are you going to throw up on camera, Aaron? Oh, on. It'll be the first I time if I do, not that. the camera. Usually I don't puke. But you want to grab that loose moss on your hands? <laughs> That's pushing her. <laughs> Where's the water? If you gotta puke, go do it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, let's take it nice and slow. Okay. Let's take it nice and slow, you think? You're gonna bounce your ass off the back, man. <laughs> what do you expect? Oh. Uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching this gritty film. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I've got some good news for you. We're kicking off five weeks of gritty hunting films and we're calling this thing the open season. Folks, I have some amazing partners and they've all decided to chip in to give me some stuff to give to you. For the next five weeks, we got Mountain Ops, we got Luapol, we got Sitka, we got Yeti, we got Hoyt, we got Crispy. We got Black Eagle. But wait, we're not done yet. We're also gonna give away some Kafaru and some Garmin gear as well. Folks, that's more than $20,000 in gear. I can't thank my partners enough. There are five ways to win every week. First, like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And then, stalk us on Facebook and Instagram because that's what those apps are for. Next, go to briancall.com and sign up for our newsletter and you will be entered to win a brand new Hoyt bow. And finally, I forgot what I was going to say. Listen to the Gritty Podcast and leave us a review on iTunes. At the end of the five weeks, we're going to give away a sweet Kafaru pack and a Garmin inReach to some lucky winner. For all the open season details, go to briancall.com forward slash open season. And as always, stay gritty.